Hello world, today we're going to be talking about bleeding the cooling system with either this tool and or a funnel. If you don't have that tool, then you should probably get it. You're doing something wrong. Just kidding. Let's add coolant, uh, fill up the reservoir just to the very top. Uh, if you have a funnel with this tool, you can leave some up here and it'll help the process go by easier. Now typically you do this when you've opened up something as far as replacing the water pump, thermostat, coolant hose. This is when you're going to want to do this. This is going to apply for most vehicles, uh, but there are some that require different procedures. Now go ahead and turn on the vehicle and let it warm up for a second. Not a literal second, but you know what I mean. Then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our heater is on. So turn it to max. Now in the beginning, it's going to be all, you know, ambient air. It's not going to be warm. And now what I typically like to do is hold it between two and 3000 RPM just to get the coolant flowing, uh, get the engine temperature rising. Now typically, most of other vehicles are going to have a temperature gauge, whether needle or digital. This one just doesn't happen to have one, unfortunately. So I am watching it with my scan tool. Um, if you don't have one, that's going to be a little, just a tad difficult. Doable, but just a tad difficult. So after you've run it for a few minutes and you feel some slight warm air, or you know, air gets warm and then it goes back to cool, cool I'm going to go outside and make sure I am topping off the reservoir. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm also going to be checking that the cooling fan has cycled on. Now you don't need a temperature gun, but I just happen to have one, so I'm seeing how warm the hoses are. You can see the fan isn't on yet. However, once it does turn on, you know that Things are starting to move forward. And here we go. Cooling fan is on. That is one thing you want to look out for. So once that starts spinning, the party keeps or the party has started. So anyways. Now with this one, I can control the idle speed. So I raised it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it raised until I see it go up in temperature and you know a little back down as the car normally would so from here it's gonna go to what 210 see 210 right there so from th this point on I'm just gonna monitor make sure the cooling fan is cycling I'm getting hot air in the interior and obviously that I'm not overheating so, as a person that doesn't have a scan tool, just monitor the fuel temperature, sorry, the coolant temperature gauge, making sure it's not really going over half. If it does start to go over half, then turn it off and back on and kind of continue the process. And once it goes normal, then you're set to go. And go for a test drive and make sure it's not overheating. But yeah, thanks for watching.